Hola, soy Taco Dora. Bell. <laughs> I think this is the shortest, shortest, shortest cooking video I have ever done. It's currently 11.55, or is it 12? I don't know. This took so long to start. We're hungry right now, and we don't really have much left in the fridge. And it's too late to go to the grocery store or to get, you know, food delivered. So we're gonna try to make something ourselves with nothing. What should we make? Great plan. Wait, wait, wait. Don't you have, like, taco shells that... Did you finish those already? No, I don't think so. Let me check. Okay, I found them. Look. Okay, so we got, um... Crunchy taco shells here. Oh, there's quite a lot left in there. Mm -hmm. There's like this much. I think this is more than enough for... A midnight snack. Yeah. And um, you got meat, beef, mm -hmm. or... No, I got pork. Okay. Minced pork. I, th I mean Taco Bell has minced pork. Okay. We can make a taco. Taco Thursday. Great. Yeah. Ooh, should we do an intro like, um, you know, like late night shows with like Jimmy Fallon or whatever? Should um, we do it? Let's go for it. Okay, insert the intro. Bye. <laughs> Welcome back to Late Night Show with Hubert. I'm your host, Hubert, and we're gonna make some tacos tonight. Let's get it started. Oh, but we don't have tomato or lettuce. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Do we still have um, the... Pasta sauce from Rodina. That has tomato. That's like pretty much tomato and basil. Do we no, still have it? No, we finished that. Did we finish it? Yeah. Ugh. We got ketchup though. We got ketchup. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look what I found. Look what I found. Look what it says on here. Spinach, Hello, can you focus? Tomato paste. Spinach? Spanish <laughs> tomato paste. And I have some vegetables in the fridge that's just about to expire. We can use those instead of lettuce and. It's gonna be a taco. Let's get Perfect. it started. Let's go. Bye. Hello, welcome back. Um, we got some minced pork right here. And I'm gonna first heat the pan. Let's just start off with um, a little bit of olive oil. That was a lot. But it's fine, we'll try to fry the meat a little Let's bit. Let's fry all of the meat. I was trying to do the effect so that it looks pretty on camera, but I didn't think about like how much we actually need. Is it hot enough? The meat can swim in. Yeah, the meat can swim in. It's gonna be like fried. I mean, this is 5% fat. So we can have more fat. We can add more fat to it and it's gonna be lower in calories because it's olive oil and not animal fat. Oh my god, it is so hot in here. You've got the pan heating up and then London is hit by a heat wave and our cooling system is not working. I've got ice bags here if you haven't noticed. I've got even more here. They're already melting so much by the second. We're just trying to like, this is our, this is our best attempt at keeping the flat and the kitchen cool while everything is going on. So if I'm sweating, if my hair is wet as it is right now, just, you know, ignore it. We're going to put the pork in. Ooh. Okay, I know it's hot. While it's, you know, doing its like whatever thing right now, well, let's season it. Let's season it. We've got some salt, black pepper, Italian herbs. Can we get some more interesting flavors here? Jerk seasoning, Cajun, garlic powder, and some. It's never ending. <laughs> five spice. I think that's good enough. Ooh, ooh, we forgot the most important, cumin. We've got our cumin right here. Let me just move it aside. A little pinch of cumin powder. Just cook this up. I'm gonna mince the pork. Just gonna let it simmer in its own juices for a little bit, and then we'll come back, put a little bit of water, a little bit of stock, a little bit of tomato paste. Okay, so now that most of the meat is cooked, we're gonna add something that I just found. We got beef stock paste, 
and um, I'm gonna add this in. Oh, it was upside down. Beef stock paste. And our tomato paste. Some water. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, by the way, so um, doing this based on my experience making tacos, a very unauthentic tacos myself, and what I see they do at Taco Bell, so I'm trying my best to make something that resembles a taco. Do you want to come have a look? I mean, it smells pretty good. I feel like we could use a bit more spice. I've got one secret ingredient here that I think can spice this whole thing up. Guess what it is. What? Oh, basil. It is actually... Ah, uh, gochujang? Gochujang. I got my fancy, fancy palette knife, and we're just gonna take a little oh bit. God, that's a lot. It's not a lot. Okay, you can remove the gochujang. I mean, isn't that pretty much it? That's pretty much it. What's much it? You just make the meat, we got the tacos. Um, the vegetables. You don't need to cook them. Yeah. So, it's, it's baby leaf. Big. It's baby leaf salad, so. Yeah. So they're pretty small. Here. You put the ketchup in with it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't put ketchup, but I did put tomato paste, but we could use some ketchup. Hand me the ketchup. A little... Oh, that was so anti-climatic. A little ketchup. Okay, I think it's pretty much done, so I'm just gonna turn off the heat. So, as I was saying, we don't have cheddar cheese, but what we do have is, um... Pecorino from last week's video. If you haven't watched it, it's gonna pop up... This side, this side... What? One of the sides. It's gonna pop up on one side, the icon card. Just click it, you can watch it, it's really fun. It was really fun making, it was really fun doing it. So we're gonna use that instead of cheddar. But um, the meat is done, so let's assemble the taco. I think this is the shortest, shortest, shortest cooking video I have ever done. Hola, soy Taco Dora. Bell. <laughs> That's what I say a lot. Yo quiero Taco Bell? We got Taco Bell here. How do they do it? Do, do they do it like... Meat, vegetable, and cheese, or meat, or vegetable first? I would say vegetables first, so you can flatten Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the things in. We don't need that much vegetables. It's a late night snack. Nobody's trying to be healthy at this hour. So, I'm gonna fill this up with taco meat. Let's do it very carefully. Y'all can barely see what I'm doing here. The color of this taco shell looks just like the taco emoji. I'm gonna try to pack as much meat as we could. But that sounds really wrong. We got our gorgeous taco here. Let's do some cheese. Okay, how much cheese would you like, ma'am? As much as possible. Okay, let's try to grab as much as possible. Ooh, this looks gorgeous. Okay, let's just talk about how gorgeous this is. Give it a try. One meat is well seasoned. I'm gonna try to do like half with meat, and then half vegetables, and then half meat again so that the vegetables can come through a little bit in the photo. It's trying to get you to do oh. dandruff moment. This one better be perfect because we did everything according to instruction. Mm. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. The crunch. The baby leaf salad kind of adds um, peanut, like a saute flavor to it. No. It does. <laughs> no. <clears throat> it's just leaves. Well, that was fun, but do you know what's even more fun? Eating this taco. So, I hope you enjoy the video. If you want to make it yourself, it's really easy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you very soon. I'm going to go finish this. Bye.